Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining Yoga with Leanna. I'm Leanna and I've got a really great little twisty core focused flow for you guys. So let's get started in a comfortable seat. Good, close your eyes and rock a little bit forward and back on your sitting bones. Good, find a place where you're slightly more forward on your sitting bones. Lift up from behind the belly button. Draw the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart. And take a slight tuck of the chin just to make the back of the neck a little bit longer. And from this place of stacking and alignment, still find the ease. Relax the face, relax the jaw. And we'll just take a few really deep breaths right here to settle into the body. Feel your lungs expand, feel the ribs expand. Good, and your next inhale, reach both arms overhead. Interlace your fingers and turn your palms to face up. Good, inhale, press up through the thumb sides of the hands. Exhale, take a little side bend over to the right. Good. Look under your left arm and feel that nice stretch there in between the left ribs. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, switch sides. Good. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, release your hands in front of you. Let's come into tabletop pose. Good. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly button. Lift the tailbone. Reach the heart forward. Exhale, cat. Round your spine. Press into the palms. And look back towards your knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Let's find a neutral tabletop. Inhale, send your right leg straight back and take a circle or two with the ankle. Good, reach back through the right heel and then firm up your low belly by lifting up from right behind the belly button. You'll feel that support the low back. Try to keep that going, take an inhale Exhale, bring your knee to your right upper arm. Good, we'll be here for a few breaths. Try to lift your knee a little higher towards the shoulder. Try to squeeze your knee into your arm. And then bring your right heel towards your butt. Good. Inhale, send your right leg straight back. Exhale, tabletop. Good, second side, send your left leg straight back. And just take a few circles with the ankle, let that feel nice. Good, lift up from behind the belly button. Feel that protect the low back. Inhale, reach through the left heel. Exhale, tap your knee to your left upper arm. And we'll be here for a few breaths. Lift that knee nice and high, feeling that from the deep core and bring your left heel towards your butt. Inhale, send your left leg straight back. Exhale, tabletop. Good, then we'll find a high plank. Let's bring both feet straight back. Good, drive those hands into the mat. It's like you wanna press through the mat, but not so much to where you're collapsing in the collarbones and making the front of the chest um, in this kind of short position. So keep broadening across the collarbones and slightly pulling forward through the sternum. Good. Draw the tailbone towards the heels. Feel that zip up the low belly and engage the quads. Drop both heels to the right and then recenter the weight so it's even over the mat. Tailbone draws towards the heels, heart reaches forward. And both heels come back up and drop them to the left. Good. Recenter. 
lengthen the spine. Inhale, both heels back up. Exhale, drop them to the right, reaching the crown of the head forward. Legs are engaged. Inhale, both heels back up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, both heels back up. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the hips, lower your chest. Uncurl the toes. Good. Make sure that your fingertips are right in line with the tops of the shoulders. Press into the tops of the feet so the kneecaps lift. Keep that going. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, just use the strength in your back to peel your heart up. Good, so my hands aren't really pressing down, they're just pulling back. The heart is reaching forward and the elbows are squeezing in. Such a good strength building pose for all those muscles in the back. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Press back into child's pose, big toes touch, knees wide, sitting back to the heels. You can always take child's pose anytime you'd like. Whenever you're ready, make your way into downward facing dog. Just take a moment here, settle into your body. I've been getting real comfortable practicing with various um, distractions since we've been practicing at home a lot more in the backyard. And um, I know that might also be true for you. So try to stay focused even though there's stuff going on around us. a nice challenge for me in my own practice and hopefully it's been kind of fun for you guys too. Good. Inhale, send your right leg up and back. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. Good. Firm the outer left hip in and try to square the shoulders to the mat as you drive the hands into the mat. Inhale, square the hips, three-legged down dog. Exhale, look forward, step your foot between your hands and pause here in this lunge with the fingertips around the front foot. Good, take note of your right sitting bone and try to keep the right sitting bone right in line with that right heel. Good, firm up that back leg a lot. So left quad is strong, left glute is strong. And place your left hand down onto the mat and peel your right arm up. Simple twist. Good. So it's like someone is holding you by the outer hips and squeezing them in. Use that to help you lengthen the low back and twist more from the rib cage or upper back. Maybe as a last step, you look up towards the right hand for one more deep breath. Good, strong legs, strong core. Inhale, high lunge, press into the feet, reach the arms up. Pause here for the exhale and a few more breaths. Good, bring your fingers to your hip points. Lift your hip points up. You might feel that tuck the tailbone a little bit and try to keep that going as you reach the arms back up. Good. Really drive into the ball of the left foot. Inhale, reach up through the ring fingers. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift the heart. A little back bend. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Step back, down dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. Good, outer right hip firms in, shoulders are square to the mat, and you're driving your hands into the mat. Inhale, square the hips, three-legged down dog. Exhale, look forward, step your foot between your hands, and pause right there. Finding that nice stable stance, might need to be a little wider or longer. 
Yeah, notice your left sitting bone. Try to keep it right in line with your left heel. Firm up the right leg a lot, even the glutes. Then right hand plants down, left arm peels up. Simple twist. Okay, notice what that left sitting bone is doing. A lot of times it likes to jut over to the left. Keep it squeezing in as you reach the crown of the head forward. Maybe look up towards the left hand and keep that breath going nice and slow. Good, strong legs, strong core. Inhale, drive the feet into the mat, reach the arms up, high lunge. Stay for the exhale, feeling that nice stretch in the right hip flexor. Good, keep, keep containing the belly and reaching up through the ring fingers. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands down and step back, downward facing dog. Good. Coming into those chaturanga push-ups where we hold our chaturanga and come back up into high plank. So good for the arms. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale, come forward to the toes. The heart is reaching forward. Elbows bend straight back, elbows squeeze in. Belly stays lifted, quad stays strong. Press back up, high plank. Good, again, chaturanga, little pause there. Press back up, high plank. This time we'll come into up dog, chaturanga, pause. Flip the toes. Straighten the arms. The heart is reaching forward as the outer upper arms spin back. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. And going through all of those movements a little bit faster with the breath. So one breath to one movement. Inhale. Right leg up and back. Exhale. Light as you can. Step your foot between your hands. Right arm reaches up, simple twist. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, press up, high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart, little back bend. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, come right into your chaturanga, elbows in, heart forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, lightly step it through. Inhale, left arm up and twist. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, press up, high lunge, drive the mat away. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, come right into your chaturanga, always moving with control. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more each side. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, lightly step it through. Inhale, right arm reaches up, simple twist. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, high lunge, reach up through the ring fingers. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, lightly step it through. Inhale, twist, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, press up, high lunge, reach through the fingers. Exhale, cactus the arms, elbows draw down and back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, reach the heart forward. 
Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold, release your head and neck. Inhale, reach the arms up, really drive into the feet. Press the palms together, look up. Exhale, bring the palms in front of the heart. And let your palms face forward, mountain pose. Deep breath in, strong breath out. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. I hesitated a little bit before coming into that one. It's a hard pose. Let's find a place where we're really supporting the low back, so use the core. I think, to, I think about drawing the belly button back towards the spine. Act like you're squeezing a beach ball between your hands, so squeeze it. And try to get your biceps in line with your ears. Good, set those hips back. A few more deep breaths here. Let's bring the hands to prayer. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Hook your elbow outside of your knee. And anytime we're twisting, we're always thinking about firming the outer hips in, lengthening from the low back, and twisting from the ribs. Look down in front of your feet, shift everything into your right foot, and bring your left heel towards your butt for a little flamingo pose. Whoo. Good, send your heart forward as the left leg shoots back to hover. Really slow, really controlled. Step back into a twisted high lunge. I usually have to adjust myself a little bit once I'm there. Good, that left leg is super strong, lifting up through the back of the left knee. Reach the heart forward as you twist from the ribs. Look down in front of the front foot. Nice and controlled, step back into your twisted chair. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, pedal the knees out. Let your head and neck hang nice and heavy. Side number two, let's do it. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Ooh, my legs are tired. Good, lift up from behind the belly button, protecting the low back, keep that going. Bring the hands to prayer. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Elbow outside the knee. By the way, it's like 84, five maybe degrees here. So I'm basically in a hot yoga class right now. It feels nice. Reach the hips back, reach the heart forward, twisting from the ribs. And then we'll look down in front of the feet, shift everything into your left foot, bring your right heel towards your butt, flamingo. Send your heart forward, reach the right leg back to hover, and then nice and controlled, step into a twisted high lunge, adjusting as you need to. Make sure you're nice and long so you can be up high on the ball of the back foot. Nice, outer left hip is firming in, right glute is strong as you twist. Look down in front of your front foot, step back into a twisted chair, take an inhale, and an exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Whew, let your head and neck hang heavy. Pedal the knees out. Okay, we're coming back into chair pose, but just to come to our seat. So inhale, chair pose. Exhale, lower all the way down. And we're not going to be in chair pose anymore today. So that's good. It's good for me too. Let's come into boat pose with your hands behind your knees, shins parallel to the mat. Okay, lift up through the heart, draw the shoulder blades together, soften through the face. We'll make our way into crow pose from boat pose. Really great, great way to get a feel for the mechanics of the pose without actually being on our hands and our wrists. So let's bring the palms forward Spread the fingers wide and bring your knees outside of your upper arms. Like we did earlier, 
Your knees aren't really gonna go anywhere super far, but act like you wanna draw the knees towards the shoulders. Feel that really contract the belly. Then even though you're rounding the upper back, try not to collapse in the collarbones like I'm doing now. Try to really broaden across the chest. Good, heels towards the butt, point the toes, inhale. Exhale. Inhale back into boat pose, hands behind the knees. Exhale, twist to the right, side crow. And really use that core to help you twist, lift the heart up. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center, reset. Exhale, twist to the left. Good, really use your core to get into that twist. Lift the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, let your palms face up. We'll be here for a few breaths. You could stay here. You can straighten the legs, lifting the heart for full boat pose. Three, two, one. Lower down into low boat. So shoulders hover, legs hover. Last few breaths here. Bring the palms to prayer. Thumbs into the chest and lift your chest up into your thumbs. Feeling that engagement in the low belly for three, two, one. Let it all go. Oh, okay. Let's take a little bridge pose to stretch out the belly. Place your feet onto the mat. Lift your hips up. And just keeping this pretty simple, really just about that belly stretch. Good, lower all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. And then rock and roll forward and back until you can make your way back into down dog. <laughs> Inhale, send your right leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your right upper arm and pause right there. We'll be here for a few breaths. Try to squeeze your knee into your arm and try to lift it up towards your shoulder. Drive those hands into the mat. Bring your right heel towards your butt. Good, inhale, send your right leg up and back. Two more times like that. Exhale, knee to the right upper arm, squeeze it in. Inhale, send your leg up and back. Last time, exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, send your leg up and back. Exhale, lightly step your foot between your hands. Let's make our way into pyramid pose. Step your back foot in. We want both feet, both heels really on the mat. And your stance should be a little bit wider than heel to heel. Good, imagine that you've got a block between the inner thighs and squeeze that block. Notice the low ribs, reach them forward away from the hip points. Good, turn this into a twist. Bring your right thumb into the right hip crease. Draw the right hip back and in as you revolve your chest to the right. And then maybe you reach the right arm straight up Always thinking about firming the outer hips in, lengthening from the low back, and twisting from the upper back. Maybe look up towards that top hand for the last breath. Good, right hand goes back down. Bend the front knee, launch the back leg up for standing splits. Let the head and neck relax. Notice the outer right hip, firm it in. So you want those muscles on the outside of the right leg really working to help you balance here. Use that left glute to lift the left leg. And then play with grabbing a hold of your standing ankle with either one hand or both hands. Oop, I can't really do it for that long. No worries if you can't. Just kind of fun to play around with. One more inhale. Exhale, cross the left leg behind the right leg. 
and we'll come into a cross-legged forward fold. So you want maybe like a fist distance between the feet. Let your head and neck hang heavy and feel for that hip opening stretch there in the outer left hip. If you want it to be a little bit deeper, move your hips towards the right and press into the big toe sides of your feet. Good, let's come back into a normal forward fold. So uncross the legs, feet about hips width distance apart. Inhale, slide your hands up your legs, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back into high plank. Move your left hand forward a decent amount and come into side plank, left hand down, right arm reaches up. I always like to have the wrist a little bit more forward of the shoulder just to protect the shoulder. Good, squeeze the legs together, knit the front ribs in. At the same time, shoulder blades draw together, chin away from the chest. Oblique dips, inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, lower the hips to hover. Inhale, press the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press this time, stay lifted. Exhale, come back into your high plank. Take an inhale, find that strong high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, let it go. Inhale, send your left leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your left upper arm, pause. Good, our hips are lifted, are driving the hands into the mat, and you're squeezing the knee into the upper arm as you're trying to lift it towards the shoulder, left heel towards the butt. Inhale, send your left leg up and back. Exhale, tap the knee. And one more time, inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Make your way into pyramid pose. And just take your time to feel into it. And notice where your heels are. You want your stance like hips width distance apart, even here. So I might need to bring the front foot a little bit more to the left. Good. Firm the outer hips in and act like you're squeezing a block between the thighs. Good. Reach the sternum forward. And then bring your left thumb into your left hip crease. That left hip draws back and in as you rotate towards the left. I know you guys get to see my sweaty face. <laughs> All right, we're twisting towards the left. Option to bring the left arm straight up. Option to look up at that hand as a last step, just if it feels okay on your neck. Shoulders away from the ears as the crown of the head is reaching forward. Revolved triangle pose. Good, bring your left hand back down. Look forward, bend your front knee and come up into standing splits. All right, firm the outer left hip in. Use that right glute to lift the right leg. Option to grab a hold of your standing ankle with one or both hands. One more inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, cross the left, the right leg behind the left. Coming into our cross-legged forward fold. Let your head and neck release and press into the big toe sides of both feet. And if you want this to be even juicier in the outer right hip, move your hips to the left. Uh, 
And let's return to a normal forward fold, feet about two fist distances apart. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back into high plank. Move the right hand a decent step forward. Come into side plank, right hand down, left arm up. Ooh, okay. I'm going to recommend that you guys turn your heaters on in the house so that you have the same experience that I do with this class. Good. Bring your chin away from your chest. And here we go. Oblique dips. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift this time, hold. Exhale, high plank. Find your strong high plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let it all go. Find that ease. It's there. Good. As you inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, this time twist. Bring your knee to your left upper arm. Pause. Find that strength. Squeeze the knee in, lift it up, drive into the hands. Inhale, send it up and back. Two more times. Exhale, squeeze it in, find that alignment. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, lightly step your foot between your hands. Spin the back heel down, warrior two, Vira Bhadrasana B. Okay, warrior two. Just a few moments here, slow everything down. And as always with the feet, you're pressing into the mat and you're trying to pull the mat in. So those feet are digging down, the heels are dragging towards each other. Good, bring the right elbow to the right knee, other arm reaches across the ear. Just an option here to keep that stuff going on with the feet. Contract your left obliques and reach your right arm across your ear as well. If you're doing that, square the chest to the left. Really press into the back foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Reach up and back. Reverse triangle, relax the back shoulder, press the hips forward. Feel that opening in the right side waist. Good, cartwheel your arms down. Step back into high plank. And let's find side plank again, left hand down, right arm up, Vashistasana. This time either stay here, modify as you need, or bring the ball of your top foot behind you. Lift your hips up. Reach the heart forward. Wild thing pose. Good. That palm that's up in the air, spin it down towards the floor and press it down. Inhale, high plank. Find your strong high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your right upper arm, tap it, hold, lift it high, feel that from the deep, deep core, press into the hands. Inhale, send your leg up and back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, step your foot between your hands, spin the back heel down, warrior two, Vira Bhadrasana B. By the way, this is my first time planting a garden. And it's so fun. We kind of went crazy. We put everything in there. If you've never done it before, I recommend it. It's been a really nice experience. Good. With the feet, press into the mat pull inward. It's like you want to drag the mat towards the center using the feet. Relax through the face. 
front elbow to the front knee, other arm reaches across the ear. Good, option to stay here. Keep pressing and doing that whole deal with the feet or contract the right obliques. Reach the left arm alongside the ear as well. Both sides of the waist are long. Square the chest to the right, squeeze the beach ball. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up and back. Reverse triangle, relax the back shoulder, press the hips forward. Ooh, a little slippery. Good, cartwheel your arms down, step back into high plank. And let's find side plank, right hand down, left arm up. Vashisthasana, either stay right here or wild thing pose. Step the ball of your top foot behind you, hips spin up, hearts reaching forward. Let that palm that's up in the air spin down towards the floor and press it down. Inhale, high plank, find a strong high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let your head and neck release, come back to that softness, that slow breath. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, fold, release your head and neck. Inhale, arms sweep up, look up and press the palms together, get really nice and long. Exhale, palms to heart center. Palms face forward, mountain pose. Find whatever mountain you want to embody and embody it. Be really tall, really strong here but still finding that ease in the face. Okay, making our way into our last standing sequence. Let's do it. Bring the right foot down, it's already down. Shift your weight into your right foot and bring your left knee into your chest. Okay, I want you guys to work on firming the outer right hip in and lifting up from behind the belly button. That standing leg, it's like a pillar. It's rooting you down to help you get some lift. And then begin to twist towards the left. You can totally stay right here. Really hard place to work on the balance. My leg's wobbly, so you can completely be right here. If you'd like to add on, bring the right hand outside of the left knee and reach your left arm back behind you. Uh, trying to really reach back through that left hand and gently pressing the left leg into the right hand. Rooting through the standing leg. If you want to go further, reach down for the big toe side of your left foot or just grab the big toe and press the foot forward. Good, once you're there, keep lifting through the heart, lifting up through the belly, twisting from the ribs. Maybe as a last step, you look back towards the back hand and find that nice. I'm doing a little video for my YouTube. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> it's my neighbor, Angie. <laughs> All right, keep your leg lifted if it's lifted. Reach both arms straight up for three, for two, one. Slowly, without your foot touching the floor. Well, mine touched it, that's okay. Warrior three. And she asked if I was doing garden yoga. Yes, this is garden yoga. <laughs> the first of its kind for me. I've never done yoga in a garden before. Besides last time I did this video, so second time. Lift up from behind the belly button, outer hips are firming in. Try to square the hips to the mat if you can. And then maybe reach the arms straight forward, squeeze that beach ball, biceps in line with the ears for three, two, one, bend the standing knee. We're stepping back into warrior one. Hopefully you did it a little bit slower and more gracefully than me. Find your warrior one. 
And then we'll just take a nice shoulder stretch. Bring the right elbow on top of the left, coming into eagle arms. Good, squeeze the forearms together. Lift the elbows nice and high. And let that gaze just split around the forearms. Good. Bring your palms back together. Step forward, mountain pose. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Second side. Let's shift into the left foot. Right knee into the chest. Hands together. Firm the outer left hip in. Lift up from behind the belly button. Lift up through the heart. Twist to the right. Either stay right here, just working on the balance, or the left hand's gonna go outside of the right knee and you reach the right arm back. Good, root into that standing leg and gently press the lifted knee into your hand. Option to reach down for the big toe and begin to straighten the leg forward. Good, if you're doing that, focus on lifting up from the belly, lengthening the low back pressing through the standing leg, twisting from the ribs. Maybe you look back towards the back hand as a last step. Good, let's keep that right leg lifted. Reach both arms straight up for three. Keep it lifted for two and one. Warrior three, Virabhadrasana. See the hardest of the warriors, the strongest of the warriors. Keep the hips square, keep the belly strong. Press through the standing leg and reach your arms straight forward. Squeeze the balloon between the palms. I keep switching from balloon to beach ball, whatever you prefer. Biceps are up in line with the ears. Slow with control, bend the standing knee and let's step back into warrior one. Good, bring the left elbow on top of the right elbow. Eagle arms. Squeeze the biceps together, the forearms. <laughs> Lift the elbows up and find that nice hazy gaze where you're really not looking at anything in particular. Your gaze is just splitting at the forearms. Good, hands come back to prayer. Step forward, be still here in mountain pose for a breath in and a breath out. Good, let's make our way into Malasana Yogi Squat. Feet wide, heels in, toes out, and come on down. Let's open up the inner thighs a little bit more by gently pressing the elbows into the knees as the knees press back into the elbows. So there should be a little like resistance there. Lift through the heart. Option to take a little twist, left arm out towards the floor, right arm up towards the sky. Spread across the collarbones and lay the heart back, looking up at the right fingers. And inhale back to center. Exhale, switching sides. Good, broaden across the chest, lay the heart back. Feeling that opening in the inner right thigh. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, hands down, hips up. Bring the feet together. Making our way into Crow Pose Bakasana. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Hands a little wider than shoulder width distance apart. And then let's bring the knees to the upper arms. I want you guys to squeeze the knees into the arms and to find that same feeling as if you're lifting the knees up into the shoulder. So there's that like really nice crunch there. Keep that going. Look forward. Send your heart forward until one foot can lift, other foot can lift. Good, so you're lifting up from the mid-back 
and broadening across the collarbones. Those feet squeeze together, heels towards the butt. Maybe jump back into chaturanga, chest forward, feet back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let that all go. Good, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms reach up, press the palms. Exhale, palms in front of the heart. And palms face forward. Good, prepping for side crow. Step off of your mat to the right side and come into a squat. Good, twist towards the mat and try to get the left knee maybe like midway up the right arm. Okay, this part's a little bit weird, but you wanna plant your hands like you're doing down dog towards the front. So same way we've been having the hands the whole time. Lift your hips up and move your butt to like the middle of the mat. So now all it takes for you to launch is to send the heart forward, the elbows bend just like chaturanga, and the feet lift up. Side crow, Parjava Bakasana. Good, let's come on out of that side. Whew. And second side. Step off the mat to the left side. Come into that nice squat. And then we'll twist towards the mat. And try to get the right knee midway up the left arm. Plant your hands like you're gonna do down dog towards the front of the room, front of the mat, I guess. Center the hips to the middle of the mat. Look forward, send your heart forward, elbows bend back, maybe the feet pop up. Elbows look just like chaturanga. The obliques are working super, super hard. Side crow, Parjava Bakasana. Good, we will meet in child's pose when you're all done playing around. Child's pose. Take a moment here, slowing down the breath. Breathing into the backs of the lungs. And walk your hands in towards your body. And then sit over to the right side. Bring your legs out in front of you for staff pose, Dandasana. Good, lifting the heart, rooting into the sitting bones, engaging the legs. And we'll find a nice little quad stretch Bring the right knee to face forward with your heel towards your butt. The top of the right foot's pretty much on the mat. And place your left foot to where the knee is. Good, fingers are spanning away from your body. And then press down to lift up. With the right shin, press it down into the mat and pull forward. It's like you wanna drag the yoga mat forward using the right shin. Lift the hips up, lift the heart up. One more inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Okay, let's meet back in Dandasana. Find your strong, sturdy Dandasana. Good, and left leg comes into Virasana, left knee is forward. Heel towards your butt and place your right foot where the knee is. Let's come on up. The first time I did this quad stretch, I was like, what? Didn't know I could even have those muscles, especially didn't know how tight they were. So if this is a lot for you, it was also a lot for me when I first did it and still honestly kind of is. And with that left shin, press down and pull forward. Lift the hips, lift the heart. One more inhale. 
Exhale, lower all the way down. Find a staff pose. Good. And when you're ready, make your way onto your back. With your feet on the mat and knees up in the sky. We'll first take a bridge and then a wheel. Press on up for bridge. Interlace the hands if you can and shimmy the shoulders under your body. Good, with the shoulders and the upper arms, even the forearms, press into the mat to help you lift the chest. With the heels, dig into the mat to lift the hips. One more inhale, lift up. Exhale, unshimmy the shoulders, lower the upper back, the middle back, and the lower back. Knees kiss, feet wide, rest your hands on your belly, and relax. Okay, let's either do bridge one more time, or if you would like to do a wheel, pop on up into wheel. Whichever one you are doing, really drive the feet into the mat. Use the glutes. And keep the breath nice and fluid. Slowly lower upper back, middle back, lower back. And this time, bottoms of the feet together, knees wide. Left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. Gently draw the knees back together. And let's take reclined pigeon pose, right ankle to the left knee. And draw the left leg back into the chest. And you want to bring the hands yeah, right behind the left hamstring. Finding that opening in the outer right hip, feels so good. And we'll switch sides. Left ankle, right knee. Place both feet down onto the mat. And let's take happy baby. Press your feet into your hands. Use that to help you get the tailbone potentially closer to the mat. Knees nice and wide. Good. Place your feet to the width of the mat with your knees together. So feet wide, knees kiss. And drop both knees to the right and bump your hips a little to the left. Cactus the arms overhead. Gaze to your left. And then option here to stretch those left obliques a little bit deeper by bringing the right heel on top of the left leg. And your goal is to guide that femur bone forward and down. Good. 
And of course, if that's too much, just back out of it. Good, recenter yourself, feet wide, knees kiss. Recenter the hips. And drop your knees to the left, bump the hips to the right. Look to the right. Option to take it deeper, bring the left heel on top of the right leg, gently guide the leg forward and down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, ease into Shavasana. My Shavasana today is doubling as a little tanning moment. <laughs> and like I mentioned, with practicing at home, in the backyard, wherever it is that you've chosen um, to practice with so many studios, you know, being closed, it's easy to get distracted, easier at least. And so it's good practice for us to try to not necessarily block out the distractions, but not let them bother us. Not let the distractions, the noises, the elements if you're outside, not letting those things take you out of your peace. And so relax all of those little muscles around the eyes. Relax the jaw. And just let your body be held here for these next few moments. Shavasana. Invite a deeper breath back into your body. Reach your arms back behind you. Point your toes. 